All right, hi everybody. We're gonna do page 98 of your student journal. We're gonna do explorations A through D. And number three, you will have a quiz on Friday uh, on reflections and translations from last week. And we're gonna have a notebook check. All right, the first question says, work with a partner, and I'm gonna be your partner. Use dynamic geometry software to draw any triangle and label it triangle ABC. And then it wants you to reflect this triangle ABC in the in the y-axis to form triangle A prime B prime C prime so we have a pre-image and an image and what we're going to do here is reflect in the or uh, over the y-axis to form the other triangle so I'm going to show you how to do that so here we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in GeoGebra we're going to get this software up and I'm going to click on where it says geometry waiting for it to leave There we go. All right. So you're going to go and get your click right here. Click on show grid. And we're going to say show major grids. And then we're also going to click here and we're going to click on show. Okay. So the question didn't tell us where to plot our A, B, and C. So we're going to put it wherever we want to. So I'm going to go click over here and click on line segment. And I am going to draw my triangle right here. Oh, let me go back over here again. Click on line segment. And I'm going to draw it. My triangle A, B, and C. All right. So I have my first triangle, which is called the pre-image. And it said to reflect that in the y-axis or across the y-axis. So that means they want me to reflect this figure across this line. This is the y-axis. So that line has a special name. And I want to draw it, and I'm going to draw it blue. So anytime they tell you which line to draw, draw it on the picture or to reflect across, draw it on the picture. And here, this line has a name, and you can go ahead and label it. It is called a line of reflection. The line of reflection. So right here, this is called the line of reflection, which is what we're going to reflect this figure across. All right, so here is just a matter of counting. So you're going to go uh, one, two, three, well, I'll count this way. So with my line of reflection for B, I'm going to count one, two, three, four. So it takes me four spaces to get to the line of reflection. So I'm going to go four spaces on the right side of this line too. So one, two, three, and four. And there, I'm going to put what is called B prime. I'm going to go do the same thing for C. I'm just going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this way, I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six across that line of reflection. And this is called C prime. Then I'm going to go and count A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that is where A prime go. And you connect your dots. Okay. And there's your image and your pre-image 
and your image. And this is called a reflection, which is another type of rigid transformation. And this one is a reflections over, and sometimes we call it a cross, or in the y-axis. All right. That's what we uh, have going on here. And it's just a matter of counting. Now I wanna show you something cause there's something special about C and C prime. And we may get into that with the next question, but I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. After you perform the reflection, I'm pretty sure you guys probably can count and notice that there are um, other ways you can do this too, such as folding the paper and things of that nature. But if you look here, if I count from, well, I'll show you in a second. I don't like what my picture just did. All right, if we was to count from here to here, we would notice that they would be the same amount of spaces on both sides. So if you look here, if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, I have a space of six on this side and a space of six on this side. And if you notice here, there's a line that goes from here to here. So if I call the line of, the, of reflect, reflection L, I can make a statement about that. I can say that line L, I'm gonna call it line uh, L and K. It's still the line of reflect, reflection. So if I say line, in our case here, it's a line segment. So line segment, LK, get that right, LK is perpendicular to line segment C and C prime because this line segment actually split line segment C and C prime in half. And it's gonna do the same for all of those. If you count, it's four here, it's four here. So now I can say line LK is perpendicular to line segment, not line, but line segment B and B prime. And I can say the same thing about A and A prime if I count, I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight on this side, it's eight on this side. So we get a spaces of eight counts on this side and eight counts on this side. So it is also perpendicular to line segment uh, A, A prime. And that is one of those things you have to understand about uh, reflections. Once you do the counting and flip over the line of reflection, the line segments between the C and the C prime are what we call uh, perpendicular bisectors. The word perpendicular means to cross at a 90 degree angle. And the word bisect means to split in two. So that means line LK, well not even line, line segment LK is perpendicular to all of the segments that are formed after the reflection is done. And bisect means a line segment or a line that splits another line or line segment in half. And that's what happened here with the reflection. That is a key concept you need to know and understand. Okay, so let's go on to the second question. So we did that first part. The second question says, what is the relationship between the coordinates A, B, and C and those of A prime, B prime, C prime? All right, so what we could say is this was a rigid transformation And why did we say this is a rigid transformation? Because a reflection did not change the shape or the size, it changed the position. A rigid transformation where line segment A, I mean LK, I think we call it LK, is perpendicular to C, C prime, and line segment LK is also perpendicular to A and A prime and line segment 
LK is perpendicular to B and B prime. And I think we did call that LK. Let me check and see. Was it K? Yes, we called it K. So this is the information you need to know. And what's a perpendicular bisector? That's perpendicular. And what we have here is the, that um, LK is actually a perpendicular bisector. It crosses the line at a 90 degree, degree angle, but it actually splits the two lines in half. This line is split, this line segment is split in half by the line of reflection. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about C. It says, what do you observe about the side lifts and measure angles of the two triangles? We write, they stay the same. Preserve means it doesn't change. And if we move the first one from the picture we just drew to the second one, it does not change. Now it tells you to reflect this triangle A, B, C in the x-axis to form A prime, B prime, C prime. So, and then it wants us to repeat questions B and C. All right, so let's go and knock that out. So I'm going to go here and um, clear. I'm going to keep the same triangle, and this time it's said to reflect it in the x-axis or across the um, x-axis. Let me get this out of our way. Okay, let me move this line. So this time it said in the x-axis or across the x-axis. So here I am going to put the line of reflection across the x-axis or in the x-axis. So just make sure you're careful on what it's saying in x or in y. Let me move this line down. Alrighty. Okay, so that orange line I just drew is called the line of reflection. And then we write it on the other side because we're going to cross over this way. Line of reflection. And it jumped again. All right, I'm trying to move this line down because I don't want it to bounce. Okay, this is called our line of reflection. Oopsie. Okay. And we can call this line L P. So we have the same triangle. So this time you count going this way. So I am one, two spots from the line of reflection. So I'm going to go this way, one and two. And I'm going to call this A prime. I am two spots here, one, two for B. And so across the line, one and two. So this becomes my B prime. Then I'm going to count with C, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, and five. And this becomes my C prime. And I am going to make this triangle blue. And what we notice here is they should be exactly the same. If I flip this back on top of this, they're exactly the same. And let's go ahead and write what we know. We're going to say line segment. LP should be a perpendicular bisector of line segment AA prime. And let's see, this is two on this side and two on this side. And if you draw a line that connects this across, and I will, let me draw a black line. So if you draw a black line here, that line AA prime 
is perpendicular and it is a perpendicular bisector. So line segment LP is a perpendicular bisector of line segment AA prime. And you can write line segment LP is a perpendicular bisector to the same thing here to B and B prime and line segment uh, C to C prime LP is perpendicular bisector to C and C prime. And these are bisector, and there's no symbol for um, perpendicular bisector, so I'm writing perpendicular here and putting bisector on the side. So you know that line segment LP is a perpendicular bisector to each one of those um, from the pre-image to the image, the line segment that's formed after you perform the reflection. All right, so a reflection is a type of rigid transformation, and it's the second one we learned about. Change positions, but not change, but do not change the angle or the side lengths. So angle A should be the same as um, angle A prime. Um, line segment AC should be the same length as line segment AC, A prime, C prime. Same thing for line segment C prime, B prime should be the same length as CB. All right, so we're finished with part D. All right, guys, I see you on tomorrow. You have a notebook check on Friday and you will have a quiz on Friday too. Bye. See you in class.